Welcome back, everyone. This is Klein's Land episode 15. So a few things to note. One thing is I sold two sheep off for $681. They're both male sheep, so I just cleared them out. Um, yeah, so it's canola harvest time, basically, is what <laughs> what's going on. Our canola fields are ready to harvest. I do have some fertilizing contracts out and about on these fields. Um, are there any new contracts you want to give me? Nope. Okay, so I'm going to do I figured I'd do those while I was harvesting. It is a little late today on early autumn day one. Uh, but yeah, we can get it all done. Now, as far as a few things, if you remember, we did some harvesting contracts, a lot of harvesting contracts, honestly, last episode. Uh, we got a lot of oats, which we're going to hold on to for feeding horses. Uh, we have wheat, barley, and canola, which we're also harvesting canola, so we'll have that as well. Now, as far as selling those, what did I just do? Nope, there we go, we're good. Uh, wheat, we'll sell it probably right about in this range here. Barley, oops. Jeez, I can't hit that, right? Barley will sell in this range. Um, and then canola, we're also going to sell a little bit sooner probably, but in that range right there. So we're trying to, as soon as we get those target prices, I'm not going to wait for a great demand. Um, we're just going to sell them off when we hit those. And I think we'll probably end up getting to there in this episode, getting those sold off. That would be my goal is to get the uh, canola all harvested and all set and good to go and then get those things taken care of. So um, that is uh, a lot of what we got going on. And then, oh, also the wool, which we're not going to worry about yet because I haven't gotten a great demand. So we're going to wait until next year to sell the wool off. Uh, but as you know, we have wool sitting back over here. I don't know why it spawns only two in the center now. It drives me crazy. I don't know if it's because these are here or what the deal is, but anyhow. Um, yeah, so our canola is ready to harvest. Um, I'm excited to get a good yield off of that. Again, we have three fields of it, which is going to be uh, really good. That's going to be our best harvest, obviously, yet. Uh, now, in reference to this area right here, talking about uh, whether we should harvest the trees or wood chip them, I had one person say we could do both, which actually that was Mark Thor, which is not a, not a bad idea, actually. Um, then I had 10 people so far that say harvest the wood, um, so like harvest logs and then sell them, and then five people said wood chip. So we're not going to do that just yet. We're obviously not going to probably get there this episode. It might still be a couple episodes out, um, but it's going to happen soon, so... Um, if you, again, if you did not let me know in the last episode, if you think we should wood chip that or harvest it, let me know down below in the comments. That way we can actually get a good uh, count on there. So, so far, essentially 16 people have voted, which is great out of the thousands or the thousand or so that have watched that episode. So, um, given not everyone that watched it probably made it to the end, but anyhow, yeah, so that's the plan. How are actually check on our trees real quick. Oh, they're getting full. Those are getting full. I should get those squared away here soon. I could actually wait for them to get completely full. It actually kind of makes sense because, yeah, might as well. Because then the trees have their own capacity, um, which is fine too. So, yeah. Okay, let's get the harvest underway. Let's, let's hop in this bad boy. Get this rolling. Raise up our header so we're not dragging that on the ground. Ooh, stop there. Get ourselves turned around. I'm really enjoying this... Uh, this harvester to be honest I'm, i am i really like this one this thing is doing really good work for us so i have no complaints as far as our, our harvester goes now i'll probably we'll go ahead and just we'll harvest down the field here and then i'm going to go up to the top and do a couple of uh, i'll probably end up getting a worker going that way i can do those uh har or those fertilizing contracts uh kind of on the side while we're doing it but uh yeah and i will do on some of the fields i'll do a little bit of a time lapse of the harvest i probably won't do any time lapses of me uh yeah, I probably won't do any of me doing the fertilizing contracts, but uh, I'll try to do a little bit of stuff with the harvesting um, just to kind of give you a couple little quick tidbits as we're going through. Uh, but yeah, my goal this episode would be to get all the canola harvested and get all of our crops kind of sold off. So talking about some of that stuff as far as selling them off. Now, as far as purchases go, there's obviously we need to take a look at... Um, we'll take a look at a couple things actually here in a second. Let's get this to where we can get a good worker going. And then there's a couple things I want to talk about in the store as far as equipment moving forward. Now, again, the one thing I did talk about last episode a little bit uh, was the potential to get a new, like, grain trailer um, that would have a, a better capacity than the one we have. But ours is cheap, and it does have a decent capacity at, like, 5,600-some-odd liters. Um, it doesn't hold our full harvester capacity, so that's the one thing I'd like to get a new one for. Uh, but at the same time, it works for now. It's, it's what we got, and I don't have any complaints with it. Um, and looking for something to get bigger than that or a decent size bigger, there's it, it jumps up quite a bit in price. Obviously, one thing we need to do is buy our chunk of land over there, which we're not going to do just yet. So going to hold on to our money for now, but we will get that obviously purchased because, well, that's where we're going to set up our farm. Uh, and my goal at some point would be to make uh, the whole map. I want to own the whole map. That's, that's the goal I kind of set out at the beginning is owning the whole map, which that's probably easier... 
Uh, definitely easier said than done, but uh, it shouldn't take us too long to accomplish that goal. Now, given I don't want to just get there and be like, oh, we're done. I want to have a working farm on that big of a map. Now, I may not accomplish everything I want to accomplish on this, but that's kind of my goal that I'm setting out to do. And I want to use mostly small equipment. Again, there will come a point where I'll be like, ah, it's just easier if I have a huge harvester and stuff like that. Now, I don't mind having... I mean, this is probably as big as I'd want to go harvester-wise, but I wouldn't mind getting a wider header, uh, maybe a bigger grain tank. So I can still go a little bit bigger, uh, but I don't want to go too big because, again, that's the purpose of the series is to use small equipment and stuff like that. So, um, okay, I think this guy can handle that now. Hopefully that's enough space for him to turn around. But um, let's go ahead and we'll hire a worker to do that for a second. So store rise, what we need to kind of look at, forestry machines, I don't think I have really a whole lot installed. No, not really. So... Yeah, if we harvest the wood, we do it with a chainsaw, which would I'd probably be what we do. Now, I know I don't have to use like a stump grinder to get the stumps out. I can just use the lumberjack mod. I'm not sure. I might just use the lumberjack mod just to save me the time. But if we did do wood chipping, um, do we have any? I don't even have any really. I just have this wood chipper installed. I'll probably want to look at some wood chippers. So let me write this down. I need to look at some forestry equipment here. Um, write this on my notepad. Forestry equipment because we'll obviously want to get some good equipment and some maybe some smaller stuff nothing too big um i hate the uh wood chipper i used on spectacle island that one's terrible i hated that one so i don't i don't want to use that one but uh i don't want to be fine now and i'll show you what i'm talking about with trailers so looking at trailers here um this actually is 7,000 liter capacity is great for 500 bucks but that connects up to this guy which now jumps it up to eight grand there this is the one we're currently using 5670 as you look down, there's nothing. I mean, they get to this guy, which is actually the cheapest option, I think, to upgrade our capacity is going with this. But I want to use something different. I've used this trailer before. It's a standard in-game one, so I want to use something different. Um, I have thought about the Massey trailers aren't bad, but they're only 5,000 liter capacity. That's why I don't really like, like the idea of those. Uh, this one has a humongous capacity. It's only 18,500. I'm just not sure that will... Uh, I mean, that would actually probably be a good one. 48,000. I feel like that's too much for that, but um, that would be a fine one to have. Um, this one's not a bad one either. 14,000. I like the look of this one actually, so I might end up going with this guy if I get the bigger uh, tank on there. But uh, yeah, so I mean, there might be, there's more on them, I'm sure, in the mod hub and stuff that I could take a look at. The other thing that instead of maybe getting a trailer, because that's 30,000 there, instead of getting a trailer, we could also go for a truck. So I thought about getting, I mean, that's a little, that'd be kind of cool to have that guy sitting around the farm. That would kind of fit really well, actually, with uh, what we got going on. Uh, we could always do the D754. I haven't used that one in a long time. That's Rusty Money's favorite truck right there. Fixed body truck. This guy wouldn't be bad either. Um, capacity 15,000 liters. That's not bad. A little truck right there. A little expensive for what I would maybe want. But uh, open our guy outside. I can see turned around just fine. But yeah, there's lots of different options we have um, as far as trucks and stuff like that going. There's, probably, there's some in here, too. Lizard T, is that the, that's just, that's not the IT runner one, that's the other one. We could do with like a semi truck, like a, a cam as like that, but I, I think a fixed body would work really well in here. This is a truck actually that I haven't used yet that I've really liked the look of that I've wanted to use, so I might actually end up using this guy, third, I thought they're, they're a bigger capacity, 25, 20, yeah, 20, there's 20,000 liter capacity right there. That'd be pretty good right there. I wouldn't mind that. And then you also have the, I believe that's just for like chaff and stuff like that. So you have a, that sort of a setup there. You know, we'd want a snorkel, of course, but we could change the color however we wanted to do it. Uh, main color can be whatever we want. But yeah, I think that'd be a good one actually to kind of go for it. And it's not too expensive. Um, that's a cool little truck I really like. Of course, I also like, there's so many like trucks like this that I haven't used before. So maybe we look for one that has, it's got a 23,000 liter capacity. I mean, then we also got the grain carrier truck here, which is a fairly large truck, actually. Now, 30,000 liters. That is actually a really big truck as far as uh, we're probably concerned. But that would be a good truck to, I think, have around. I think that one would work really well for us. So, yeah, I'm, we're probably, that's really expensive, though. Um, that's because that design I bumped up. Standard is 25,000. Yeah, so we'll probably keep it standard to keep it 68,000. We don't need the extra capacity that bad. Uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of cool truck options out there. Um, there's lots of trucks I haven't used before that I'd be interested in using. So that's kind of what I'm looking at as far as uh, where we're going to go in the future with everything. 
Uh, but yeah, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff done. I'll bring you guys back in because we're going to sell crops on this episode as well. So that'll probably be the next segment. So after we get through some time lapse kind of stuff, um, I'll bring you guys back in here in just a little bit. everyone so um it's mid-autumn which is not when well not when i expected to sell crops i expected to be day one winter actually for all of them was their their height day one winter well barley where's barley's at barley's day two winter maybe but anyway i wrote down like a target price for all of these products and canola's is 961 and we currently have a price for canola at uh 972 so we're gonna oh wait no yeah that's higher okay i was like wait is that higher no it's not of course not eight <laughs> Ignore me. Um, now, I tried to hook up a couple of different trailers. I tried to take our manure trailer that um, is the swivel axle, and since it has a rear hitch, and tried to hook it up to another trailer, it didn't work. So I finally gave in. I bought ourselves a tipper here. It holds 48,000 liters, which I honestly is a little unrealistic, but it was a really cheap tip. And actually, while we're here, let's just pick up the hay. We'll put it in our silo, might as well. I did buy two more pallets of hay. Um, off of our canola, you saw a little bit of the time lapse of the canola and everything like that. Um, in addition to that, you saw me do some field prep, which the fields are prepped now. I did actually connect these two fields. These two fields are now connected. Um, and this one, I know it missed like some areas when it was, it was weird. And then, yeah, I just did its thing. But I was recording the time lapse, so I didn't stop it. I let it just keep going. But anyhow, it's all done now, so it's worked out. Now we got 29,121 liters off of these three fields in canola, which is a lot of canola. Uh, actually, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I did sell 5,165 liters because they wouldn't fit in our silo. So that was sold off for $4,754. It was at $920 per. Uh, so pretty good. Not as good as $972, but I still took it and was pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, wheat we're trying to get up to $584 at least, and barley we're trying to get up to at least $535. So 
which that's at 528 and that's at oh wait a second 584 for wheat that's getting close those are getting pretty close there i might fast forward some time with you guys in to see if we hit some good prices on there but um yeah we'll take this back we'll dump this in our alof which actually this trailer doesn't look it doesn't look crazy big like i thought it was going to look uh but i just yeah i think i think it it holds too much for this size obviously it's a little unrealistic so but it's, it's a good start for us um i didn't really i mean the capacity wasn't really what i want wanted about it, it was more about the price because it wasn't that expensive but and it was like eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty to buy which is really not a lot so um, can we adjust the tip side on this yeah let's do tip side right and then we will there we go doesn't look quite right but that's fine as long as it does does the work that's fine with me okay there we go now hopefully this is it's a fairly tall trailer so hopefully we can fit this under our silo which might be a little tricky it's, it's tight it's a tight yard for even this big of a trailer i mean it's a fairly large if you look at a fairly large trailer so Oh, we're gonna be getting close there oh, so close okay let's try backing it up i'm worried it's gonna be a little too tall on the back but we'll just try it oh yeah yep that's too tall okay we're gonna have to be nice and very particular about this <laughs> oh i don't think we're gonna be able to get it oh you're kidding me that is crazy how uh well that's actually one thing we can do this is gonna be such a bummer if we can't uh we'll get that put away Ooh, i wonder if we can kind of do a little bit of a cheaty thing here oh no put that away again you guys may know exactly what i'm thinking about let's try it Con left control i it should no you're not gonna unload hmm let's try this a little bit uh nope that was what i was worried about what would happen <laughs> didn't like that at all okay well um darn it well that's kind of a bummer that's not gonna work okay well garage we can sell it right away in the garage because we just got it where's it at right up here 18 yeah because in seasons so you get to sell it right away for that so We'll sell it for that if you haven't put an hour on it. Okay, I do think we need to get in our trailer though. So let's take a look in here. All right, so that one did not obviously work out. Um, the semi trailer, excuse me, semi trailer, which would be we could we could invest in a truck. I don't want to though. That seems like a lot right now. That one's a bit big. Let's go for the smaller version of that guy. This guy's not too bad. Fourteen thousand seems more realistic, oh, but that adds nine grand to the price. Good. Or no, design three, four, yeah, 14,000 versus 9,000 liters. Yeah, we want the 14. Oh, I don't really need the cover on it as much. 28,600, 14,000 liter capacity versus that's, that's, see, that's, I hate it. The, the in game trailers are cheaper than what I got installed. Um, oh, that's a pain. Okay, let's go back here a little bit. So that one may not work. Now, what if we did just the base model, this guy, 25,000. So you can upgrade it later if we wanted to. We could just go for that, maybe we'll do that. We'll just do that, no upgrades on it. 25,600, that's not too bad. Rim color is, let's do silver on there. Design color, hmm. That probably fits pretty well with our farm colors. Okay, let's go with that one. We'll try that. If it's ridiculously huge looking, that's what, 26.6? Yep, that's not too bad. Now also watch that one. Not That one's probably not gonna fit under there, is it either? Oh, at least we're not gonna lose any money on it if it doesn't. But here's our, okay, experiment level two, or part two here. Oh, this is not what I expected to do in this episode at all, but we'll try it. Okay, so we'll go pick this up. Oh, that is so tall, That's there's no way it's gonna fit. We might just need a new silo at this point. That's definitely, that's a huge trailer. Oof, okay, well, we'll try it. I don't know, though, it might work. I don't, it's gonna be, if it does work, it's gonna be pushing it significantly. 
yeah, that's gonna be pushing it. Okay, well, we'll try it. We'll try it. It might just be time to, well, we might just have to keep working with what we got until we get a new farm, because I don't want to buy a new silo on this piece of land here, since this isn't gonna be our permanent home. All right, we'll try it. Oh, oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Okay. Nope, another way. Yes, it works! <laughs> yes! Oh, gosh. <laughs> it shouldn't work, but it does. Okay, well, we'll hold on to this trailer then. At least we know we can load and unload from there. Oh, man alive, guys. That was just ridiculous. All right, well, we might just sell the canola here and then probably call it good because when we're not even able to put it all in here, this thing, what, holds... Yeah, 25,000 liters. We have 25,100 in the uh, silo there, so... Oh, boy, but at least we'll sell most of it off. We'll be able to get close to... Uh... I mean, we're going to get close to almost 25000 for it, so we're basically going to pay for this trailer with this uh, canola that we harvested this year, which is not bad, so I'll take that. Definitely worthwhile, I think. I think a new trailer was something we probably need to look into getting, so... Um, I'll still hold on to all of our small little trailers. I might actually get rid of... So the one... Like, I, he's still loading up, so we can talk for a second while that loads. Um, but this is the one I tried to hook... A, one of I tried to hook one of these trailers onto the back of this, and it, it didn't work. That looked like maybe that doesn't have it. That looks like that one not have the hitch on the back. I swore with these ones you could put a hitch on the back. You have to add add it. I swear you could. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you just can't do that. <laughs> could be it too. On my own, right? Yeah. So, oh boy. Anyhow, I might actually sell this guy off. Um, and since we have one, what? Two of them? Yeah, two of those trailers. Then we can use one for the manure if we need to. One will probably have manure in it full time. And then uh, I can use the other one for dealing with crops and stuff down here. So we'll never have to use one for doing our harvest and stuff like that because we'll have this big trailer which we can unload the harvester in. Harvester is way higher pipe than this little pipe in the silo, so I'm not even worried about that getting in. But I do feel a little bit better about this because the capacity is not super unrealistic, so... Yeah, I mean, that's a 25,000 liters is reasonable for that size of a trailer. So I do feel good about that at least. But uh, yeah. All right, get that guy going. There we go. Oh, yeah. That was the other thing I was worried about. This is our most, this, this tractor has more horsepower than anything else. Our next upgrade after we, uh, we might have to look into another tractor here. Part of me, it's like, it's like, okay. Now we gotta find that, that spot, that sweet spot where are we gonna work on upgrading our track? We're going to the AgriLib, right? I wanna make sure I'm going to the right spot. Yeah, okay, AgriLib is way around. The, we're just gonna take the shortcut here though, just for the sake of time, uh, cause we're already taking way longer than I thought to do this. But yeah, we'll sell this off and wrap up the episode. But yeah, it's kind of that sweet balance between, okay, do I want to, you know, spend the money I have on upgrading equipment and doing that sort of thing, or do I wanna invest it in more land so I can make more money? Uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, you just kind of kind of decide what route you want to go. For us right now, I think my main focus is going to be on, uh, I think we need to get that new chunk of land and then we need to start uh, harvesting the wood off of it. So I think that'll be something I want to try to look at doing maybe next episode, maybe not next episode, but the episode after that. I think that's something we need to get going. Um, we do need to look at too what we're going to plant in our fields. Uh, we'll, we'll probably work on that next episode. But yeah, we just did all canola, obviously. So we need to get another good crop in there. Um, that's going to have a good yield for us so we can make some more money because that's obviously what we need to focus on doing. But yeah, sorry, the time lapse part of this uh, episode probably a little shorter, not terribly exciting, but I know you guys don't mind that as much. Uh, some episodes will be a little longer, some will be a little shorter. I don't think I'll ever have more than, I mean, five minutes tops in an episode of time lapse type stuff uh, would be my my limit. But uh, two to three minutes, I think, I, mean, I think three, three minutes is probably that sweet spot right there where it's just enough to get a little bit of different in there. Um, but yeah. Anywho, let's get this sold off. We're almost there. The sell point right here. I actually did a pretty good pull in this trailer. It just took us a little bit to get up and go. But once we got our momentum rolling, it worked out okay for us. Okay. Oh, I didn't know it was a side tip. That works. Here we go. 
watch. I mean, I'll probably get a great demand and it'll be 1500 bucks per thousand liter or something like that will happen tomorrow, but that's okay. That's just my luck. <laughs> there we go. $24,312. I will take it. That is the end of this episode, folks. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.